unveiling his proposed two year budget. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin says he wants to change the way Virginians are taxed and also get rid of a major headache for taxpayers. But it is setting up for a political fight here. Our northern reporter Max Marcilla has more on what this will mean for families in the Commonwealth. The first pillar in unleashing opportunity is to reduce the cost of living for Virginians. It's a goal Virginia's Governor Glenn Youngkin shares with essentially everyone else in the Commonwealth, but how to accomplish it, that's up for political debate. Wednesday, the Republican laid out his plan, which involves cutting income taxes by 12% while raising the sales tax rate from 4.3% to 5.2%. This will diversify our tax base. It's always better save more money and leave it in our pocket. Hold our house! After Youngkin failed to keep the House and flip the Senate, Democrats now control the General Assembly and the fate of his budget. Early indications are there's a gap between the two parties, with Alexandria Senator Adam Evans saying the governor's proposal is regressive, affecting lower-income people more than millionaires. I both invite and challenge my colleagues in the General Assembly to work with me. Youngkin's hope of bipartisan cooperation stems around what he calls the hated car tax, which some Virginians have seen consistently rise. My car is depreciating in value while my car tax is continuously increasing. It didn't make sense to me. The car tax belongs in the trash can, not in your mailbox. Eliminating the car tax has been proposed before, but has proven to be tricky. Local governments set that rate, and it's a key source of revenue for cities and counties across Virginia. Governor Youngkin's proposal is for those cities and counties to be able to increase their local sales tax to offset the losses from what could be the end of the car tax. Reporting in Northern Virginia, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.